Warning, the following contains actions performed by idiots. What you're about to view should not be taken as factual or educational. For further questions, please refer to your Google. If you saw our channel name, you probably think we're 100% stupid, but I assure you we're only 99% because this 1% is 100% pure unorthodox genius. Brace yourselves, your mind is about to be tequila'd. Today's gonna be hot. It's like eight in the morning and I'm already sweating, so that's cool. So let's take a look at what we got going on with this here truck. If you didn't watch the last video. Shame on you. This exhaust is about up to par with something I would do. Uh, but there are a lot of exhaust leaks from the welds, so I'm planning on taking everything off. And that muffler is stupid loud. Uh, so I have another muffler that should be pretty quiet and then we're gonna do an exhaust cutout and I don't know how that's gonna go. So I got these flanges undone. The top bolt, you can't get a uh, wrench on the back side. It was basically like finger tight. So what I want to do is take the headers off, weld this to the headers and then put a V-band like here so it's really easy to take the rest of this on and off. Uh, the problem is the headers are just like stupid tight. This side, they had to, uh, you can see that pipe right there is like hammered in to clear the freaking steering rack. So the, the problem is this has to be done today because this is my daily. Wish me luck because it's gonna suck mucho long time forever. Was stupid. These are Trailblazer SS headers, and they're supposed to clear in this swap in this chassis. Uh, but there's absolutely no way that's that's going to happen. So I'm extending uh, the pipe on the bottom of the headers, and then we're going to weld a V-band on it, and then we'll start on the rest of the exhaust. nothing to do with the v-band that i added that's not even hitting anything i have no idea how i got this out because i cannot get it back in update i literally have no idea how i got that in there i had to take the motor mount bolt off and raise this side of the motor and then it slid in really nicely it kind of fought me to get that bolt out so it's going to suck a lot of stuff to get it back in and this is just the beginning of the exhaust and it's like three o'clock already. So this is not going as planned. <laughs> okay, so this is our selection of exhaust we have to work with today on Garage Idiots. <laughs> this is all three inch. This is 90% of this is all like Tahoe exhaust. And what's on there is like two or two and a half, which is not big enough. So 
we have a lot to work with. Uh, I gotta do two like soft 90s off of the V-bands and then straight back and then over to merge with that side. And then I'm just gonna send one all the way back to that muffler. This is a Magnaflow muffler off an Evil 10 and it is a dual exit. So it should flow plenty. And then right before this muffler is gonna be the cutout. So should this be restrictive, don't matter. So that's what I got, that's what we're doing. All right, boys, here's what we got. Didn't film much of it because uh, boring. So uh, we got some gaps. Luckily, that is literally, if I'm good at any part of welding, it's filling gaps. So we're good there because they're all over the place. Um, these sections there and here, this is actually Cummins intercooler piping, which happens to be steel and it had some bends I needed. So I'm gonna do one more V-band. So there'll be some straightish pipes that go from about here back to the muffler to another V-band and then the muffler will kind of be its own thing. I took the spare tire out because that's where the new muffler is gonna go. It is hot again today. I kind of want to just shave my head just so you can see all the bumps. I, I've got, I must have hit my head at least 16 times. <laughs> I got burns, I'm a mess. Okay, I'm gonna weld this stuff. We're gonna see how it sounds tonight. o'clock at night been here since I've been the car has been in the air since 8 o'clock this morning morning my little intruditos last night i left here at about i think it was no i got home at 12 30 so midnight and a half uh and i was here from eight o'clock i didn't even leave the entire freaking day so anyways we got this got this done right it's all all the way back looks pretty decent it is almost just as loud as what i had before so that kind of sucks uh it does sound a lot better it pops now when you rev it uh, has a much deeper tone, so that magna flow is definitely better than whatever was on there. But it's still a little loud for my neighborhood. So, on the part right after the two merge, it's pretty straight. And I have this. This was on the uh, this was on the Jeep vet that pile of parts right there.
Sanders is called science. All right, two things. Uh, so one, obviously putting the cutout on a just straight 90 is probably not doing much of anything at all for uh, performance. But all I'm going for right now is noise. And actually, it sounds like absolute garbage. It sounds good at idle with the cutout open. It sounds good at idle and it sounds good when you're revving it. But when I'm driving it, it, it sounds like those squatted trucks that Whistling Diesel hates that just squat the back and then cut the headers off and then just blah, blah, blah. Sounds terrible. So what I think I'm gonna do, um, not right now, it's quiet, which is what I need for the neighborhood. Just waking up early in the morning, I felt really bad because before it was very blah, 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 blah. Um, And I have a bug to finish. So uh, in the future, when I have time, I'm gonna move that cutout from where it's at to uh, past the first muffler. And that'll just help tone down the raspy, I think. Um, and then I'm also going to make that have like a smooth transition out. So in the future, when I, uh, I may or may not have been maybe purchasing a pro charger for it. Um, so when that day comes, when we decide to actually get some power out of it, it'll have a nice smooth transition. And it'll actually function as a fluid exit for uh, exhaust. Um, so that's what I got. I have uh, a couple things to, to work on dip this morning and then I got to start grinding this and working on the backside. Um, so thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you. I'm still planning on finish. We're still going to finish this in a month. Believe me or not, I don't really care. I've been working long days and I'm feeling good and I got my caffeine. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to go drink some coffee. We'll see you guys in a couple days.